Hello everyone, welcome to PUC Online Classroom. Today I am going to finish the unit, alright? And the last activity that we're going to focus on is reading. So the, the text is about saving a coral reef, an echo tipping point. So in this activity, I'd like you to scan the first two paragraphs and then you need to find out the problem words for the people of Apple Island. So I'd like you to go to this text all right, and try to answer to the question in part A, especially a part A. So part B, you don't need to care much about that. But part A, I'd like you to read the article, then complete the chart with information from the article. All right, so the information is from the text right here, not from somewhere else. So in order to answer to the questions right here, so they are in order, everyone. So it should be from the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and the other one is negative and positive. So this is about positive one. So from the top to the bottom, all right, things like this. So in order to answer to the questions, I'd like you to read this text, okay? And if you don't happen to understand some kind of words, you can leave me a question in our Telegram group chat, or you can try yourself first uh, by just going to the internet and find out the difficult words that you don't really get it, all right? But if you cannot find it, or maybe the meaning does not really match, then you can leave me a question in our Telegram group chat, all right? Uh, so read the text and do a design in part A. All right, that's it for this unit seven. But before I go, I have the uh, assignment for you. That is not really assignment; it's just only homework. But there will be a lot of home, a lot of exercises right here. So we have vocab. So just try to do all of this. All right, using the words given right here and complete the gaps from number one to number eight. And also the same thing with this part, second part, you have to use the words or phrases right here and put it into the right, uh, you know, situation, okay, from number 1 to number 14, okay. And after you finish vocab, then you can go to directions, complete each statement or question in uh, present continuous tense, passive way. The main verb is in parentheses, so they are you know, present continuous passive voice. So it can be a question, it can be statement, it depends. So statement right here refers to the positive sentence and and or question and they are formed in they are formed as a passive voice. Okay, so that uh, you can have to change them to passive voice and sometimes it is not a statement, it's a question just like number three right here. Okay. So let's do this exercise, and after that, the last one is complete the following sentences. So you have to pick up the answer. And remember, sometimes it is an active meaning, not passive meaning. Okay, it doesn't mean that when you see uh, passive, you have to pick passive all the time. Not really. So you need to read uh, to get a meaning of this exercise. All right. So uh, in order to do this exercise, I'd like you to go to our classwork right here so I will post assign classwork so it means that this exercise all right this exercise will be in our classwork so when I when I assign then you can see that uh, sorry we don't have that right now but when I assign classwork or assignment so that you will see all right and then you you will happen to see the assignment right here and then you have download you have to download and after downloading you have to do the exercises after you finish doing this uh, you have to submit right here so when you submit I will see your work all right whether you have done or not all right and don't worry I will give you the answer for this homework all right, that's it for this unit, everyone. If you have any questions, once again, leave me your questions in your or in our Telegram group chat. Okay, I will answer to your questions as soon as I can. Thank you so much, everyone. Goodbye.